Ladies and gentlemen, Izzy here. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. And today, I have a pretty interesting one for you that's really going to make you think a little bit. I want you to think of your go-to basic training. Like, just right off the top of your head, just think of your favorite basic training that you have to always use. I mean, what is it? Saboteur, requisitions, hustle, lookout, even ordinance? Well... Let me drop some knowledge on you folks. You know what I'm talking about? Let me drop some knowledge. It seems that this basic training, if you if you look at here, you see a trend, right? You see a trend here in basic trainings, yeah? You see it? It's not flinching, does not move. Flanker, I think is the most forgotten basic training. I hear nobody talking about it. Nobody is understanding the true benefits of flanker and that's just strange to me because we've had perks like this in the past call of duties we've had ghosts we've had well yeah pr pretty much ghost which essentially keeps you off the radar so long as you're running around you're moving around and you're not sitting in a corner or someplace you know what i'm saying so if you're moving around you're off the map and that sounds awesome right and people have used this no as a matter of fact people have spammed this type of perk or basic training in every call of duty game that it has been in so i wonder why now is it not getting any attention why is it not getting any up. Well, I tried it out a little bit before and I got to tell you it's amazing Okay, people need to realize that this is actually a very very useful basic training and we all know UAVs are plentiful in this game You're playing TDM you're playing well, maybe not domination, <laughs> but you're playing TDM you're playing any other objective mode you're, you're gonna run into UAVs and if you're moving around the map and you're undetectable by the enemy Don't you think that kind of gives you an upper hand and not to mention yo you unlock this thing super late This is 51. I'm sure this is like 54 or something I used a prestige unlock token like earlier in the game because I thought man This is gonna be useful and then I just like totally forgot about it And I'm coming back to it now because I figured no one else is saying anything about it So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a game and I'm gonna show you just how good this thing is So let's go guys no more talking. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We got Got ourselves a match here now hopefully I'm gonna show you why I think flanker is the best and most underrated basic training in this game all right we joined a little bit late but that's okay now basically if any of you are unfamiliar with this basic training what it does is if you take a look at my mini map right now I'm lit up right now right now when I start moving I go dim stop I light up again now also when I move see I'm dim and then when I change position it lights up again so I think that's kind of where people have a problem with this, which again, I'll tell you why it doesn't really make sense to me in a minute. But for now, let's just see if we can get behind these guys and uh, flank them. Yeah, let's flank them. Oh, let's sit in the corner. That's, oh, he is set up, dude. Campfire, little weenies and marshmallows and everything. Nice job, dude. Nice job. There we go. Oh, sweet, dude. But as I was saying, People seem to shy away from this because it seems a little less forgiving than previous Call of Duty's ghost perk. Because even though you were moving around and you, you changed direction, you were still covered. But when you change direction here, like I showed you before, you light up and you're exposed even if for a fraction of a second. And people still don't think it's worth running this class. But I think this does what it's supposed to do very well. So if you're moving around in the right direction, you're okay. It still performs its basic function very well. But obviously, how well you do kind of also depends on the enemy team. So if they're running UAV, if they have UAV up, that's probably your best bet. Because once UAV is up, they're distracted. They're looking at all the little red blips that are that could be around them. And while they're doing that, they're not even paying attention to you who essentially does not exist. So <laughs> you definitely get to jump on them in that situation. So if they're running UAV, if they have UAV up, you're solid. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, dang it. But I legitimately think this is the most underrated setup. And I say this because it's still ghost no matter how unforgiving it may seem. Like I said, it still performs a basic function as it should. It does what it's supposed to do, which is all you can really ask. All I really want them to do is just get a UAV. That's all I ask for. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Enemy recon aircraft observed. Oh, <laughs> they would, huh? They would get their recon at the very end of the game. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, we're going to do one more game just so I can get some better streaks or something. Just to show you guys that this thing is so worth it. It's so underrated and it's so good. Yeah, it's just a shame no one uses it. Just a shame. All right, Winter Carantan. 
All right, we're gonna rock the grease gun here this time. And of course, suppressor engaged. So let's go, baby. Oh no, 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 no. Nice. Ooh, we almost died there. Nice. Yeah, I'm just really hoping they get a UAV. Oh, okay. Or they just don't kill me. No, but if they get a UAV, man, I can show you exactly how good this thing is. Nice. It's kind of slow, but I guess that's just winter Carantan. All right. That's nice, too. Just sitting there. It's great. There we go. Oh, come on. Don't take my kill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was juicy. That would have been juicy. No, but I'm I'm really just waiting for them to get a freaking UAV because I'm not really showing you much right now. But if they can somehow manage to get a UAV by, I don't know, some miracle, then you can see how good this is. But even if they don't get it, you're definitely going to be running into people who do. So with that being said, I mean, it's, it's obviously going to be useful for you. Because like I said, you're definitely going to be catching them off guard. Like, they're not going to know what to do if you just spring up out of nowhere because they're not seeing you on the minimap. So if they're not seeing you on the minimap, as far as they're concerned, you don't exist. Oh, my. So violent. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. All right, well, this is kind of uneventful. I apologize for that. It's kind of uh, just nothing going on. Nice spot. I like it. And I like the eye. Digging the eye patch, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness no 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 there's so many back there hang on not one not even a hit marker nice what the hell was that all right that was that was fair i guess But yeah, this is so uneventful, like nothing's going- these guys hardly even have 30 kills. Oh boy. Oh, nice! Yeah, this was very uneventful. <laughs> uh. Oh! Any more? Yes? Yes? There is more? Where are you though? Here we go. I see somebody in here. How long am I going to follow this guy, dude? Here we go. I think we're in a good position. There's a flank. It's kind of a weak flank, but it's, yeah, it's still a flank. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, boy. There we go. All right, sweet. So, it's still kind of a boring game. <laughs> I didn't show you what I wanted to show you, but... I mean, hey, I'm still here. All right, that was pretty dang sick. <laughs> All right, so despite having that uneventful last game, just please take my word that Flanker is gonna make a comeback. Just watch, just you watch, because I, I, I still don't understand. You've had this perk, you've had these abilities in the past few games that have been used to death. Like, everybody used this form of perk in some way or another. They've used it on pretty much all their classes just to stay off the radar. And now this is just totally, like, it's scrapped. No one wants to use it for some reason. No one talks about it. No one appreciates it. And I just, I don't get it. It, it, it does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. It, it works as advertised, but, you know, so what? Even if it does feel a little less forgiving, it's still good. It still does what it's supposed to do. And I'm going to say that a million times because it does what it's supposed to do. So even if for a split second, if just for a fraction of a second, you show up on that minimap for changing positions or for stopping for like a breather or whatever, you're fine. You're going to be fine just so long as you keep moving. Now, the only downside I could see is that it does kind of put added pressure on you to just move around aimlessly because you 
you want to stay off the radar, but I feel that there are kind of solutions around that. So if you know where you're going and you get there and you find cover, you should be fine. So to avoid that kind of random wandering that I kind of do, I've, I noticed that I do it myself. Just I just I wander just to make sure that I stay off the radar. But what I do instead, if I feel myself starting to wander, I'll make sure that I set a destination, a point that I want to get to on the map and then find the best cover there because while I'm moving there, I'm fine. I can set up. I'm, I'm good. But once I'm set up, it, it doesn't matter if they see me or not because I'm set up. I'm ready for them. So that's I find that's probably the best thing to do if you're feeling a little weird about like, oh, I need to keep moving. You know, you're feeling that pressure. I got to move. Well, set a point, set a place where you want to be, find the best cover that's there and just set up. Get ready for them to come at you. And that's it. You're good to go. Just what this basically does is buy you time to put yourself in a better position to just wipe everybody out. So again, super, super underrated, very underrated. So I'd use this ASAP if you can, or if you even play the game modes necessary, because I know that you unlock this thing pretty dang late. But what I did, like when I first got the game was I, this was the first thing that I unlocked. Cause I just assumed, you know, oh, everyone's going to use this. And I don't know why I myself abandoned it at first, but you know what? I'm awake. My eyes are open. My eyes are open. And I see that this thing could actually make a comeback. I, I don't know. I, I feel good about it. And it's, it's a good, it's a good basic training. So if you haven't used it and if you have some prestige unlock tokens to spare, go for it. Definitely go for it. Cause if you just wait till level 50, whatever the hell it's, you know, not gonna think that it's worth it because it's 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 kind of dumb to wait that long to get up to get this perk but like I said if you have some prestige unlock tokens I suggest probably getting this next but other than that you guys that's all I have for this video I hope you guys have a very happy Valentine's Day take it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and I want to give a little shout out to my girlfriend. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Thanks for everything that you do. You're amazing. And so are all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting me and for being on the live stream yesterday. You guys are awesome. Keep rocking it. Let's go. I'm out, guys. Peace. Save me.